Hey farmers, what's going on? Welcome back to another Haiti video and this video is going to be all about Greg. I'm going to give you guys every information that is related to Greg in the game. And first of all, if my voice seems a little different, it's because I have a little cold. So I apologize for any inconvenience, but let's get started. So I'm into the game and I'm currently on level 160. As you guys can see, this is my whole farm. Uh, it's kind of a jungle. All right, so I'm just gonna send some thank you letters to some people here. Let's come over to see how are we doing in the derby. So this is a bingo derby, which is one of the most challenging derbies in my opinion. And it's taking a long time to load. I don't know what's going on. Oh, okay, so we are currently on fourth position, as you guys can see, and we have collected 9,000 derby points, which is awesome. And this is our bingo board. I would say it's pretty challenging. So we have a lot of town tasks, the uh, town visitor tasks, and a lot of harvesting tasks. And there are only two prediction tasks. Okay, that's cool. And all right, so I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I'm just currently doing this. Um, this is bed and breakfast town task. I have to serve 12 town visitors. So let's see if I can do this or not. So I'm just going to jump right into my town and start doing my task. So we're going to come over here and, all right, that's two. I cannot do any more visitors because they're going to stay there for two hours more. Now, the bad thing about bed and breakfast is that they take a lot of time. They take eight hours if you have not upgraded your building. But luckily, I've already maxed my bed and breakfast, so it takes four hours and 48 minutes. But still, that's a lot of time. So I'm just going to send two more townies to the bed and breakfast, and I'm just going to serve them right here. So there we go, and there we go. Let's get back to my farm and start doing some more work. All right, guys, coming to the main point of the video, who is Greg? Well, Greg is a NPC, which means he is a non-playable character. He's not an actual player, but he is Supercell itself. So his farm is basically managed by Hadia team itself. So the first thing that you guys can see right here, there are two uh, people here. Ernest, well, I'm not going to talk about Ernest, definitely. Hey, Ernest, go away, please. Okay, so here is Greg. He often comes to your farm for visiting, and he asks for a lot of things. He's basically one of the visitors. We have, I think, total um, five or four kind of farm visitors, and he unlocks at level one. So he was added into the game, I think... I think he was not at it. He's been into the game since the very beginning. So ever since Hayde was released, he has been into the game. And he's also one of the very first character that you unlock and that comes to your farm for an introduction. So for example, um, Greg is here. Hey there, got some stuff for sale. That's 26 pumpkins. Well, I must say the rates are pretty low, but I don't care. I love Greg, so I'm definitely gonna, gonna give him. So, having a look at the appearance of Greg, he seems like a pretty big guy. Must be working out in the gym. You guys can see his muscles, his biceps, and I love his shirt and pants. It's really cool. He's like one of the classics, um, guys from the movies. So, yeah, here you go, Greg. Enjoy. Yay, look at that jump. Did you guys notice how he jumped? And now he's just gonna so, oh, I didn't notice he has blue eyes. That's so cool. And he's actually wearing a scarf, which he normally doesn't, but because it's winter and even the biggest guys feel cold. So that's not an unusual thing, wearing a scarf in the winter. So, yeah, he's just going to go away. And I don't know where his home is. Maybe he's just going to go to on his own farm, but he's just going away. And I, we can't do anything. We can't even tap on him or anything. Bye-bye, Greg. Have a great day. All right, so the next question is, where is Greg located, or how can I visit Greg's farm? Well, that's really simple. All you have to do is to tap on the bottom right corner, the friends bar, and the first thing that you will see on the left side is Greg. So he is automatically there. You don't even have to add him. He's your friend since the very beginning. So Greg is my friend since 2014. Ever since the day I started Haiti, this guy has been here for like so many years. So that's where his farm is. And what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to go to his farm and show you guys all about his farm. And also we're going to be talking about the evolution of Greg and so much more. So yeah. 
All right, guys, so we are here on Greg's farm. So the first thing that we see, he is on level 151. Now, he's never been on 151 for forever. Before that, his level used to be different. So in June 2019, Greg's level was changed to 151. Before that, his level used to be 100. All right, guys, like here you guys can see Greg's farm, and this is the old version of Greg who used to be on level 100. And have a close look at the profile picture of Greg. I think it's also been changed. There's been some changes with this picture as well. All right, guys, and here is the new Greg's look, which is currently level 151. And his profile has been updated. He looks really cheesy and like, I don't even know, very fresh. More stylish? Uh, is there something wrong with his hair or beard? So yeah, it's perfectly animated. And so yeah, there's been some changes. And that's not it. Even before level 100, Greg used to be on level 50. So since the day this game started, Greg was actually on level 50. So he's been upgrading uh, to a difference of level 50. So in June uh, 2012, 2013, he was level 50, then he was updated to level 100, and then in June 2019, he was updated to level 151, and I don't know why not 150, and maybe in the future he will be upgraded to level 200, and I wish that till then I become a level 200 farmer. That would be cool to see Greg progressing just like with me. Alright guys, so that was about the level and the profile picture of the Greg's evolution. Now we're going to have a look at his farm. So his farm is decorated by the Supercell team designers. So I think they've done an amazing an amazing job in decorating his farm. As you guys can see, the decoration it's very beautifully decorated. It's very natural. Like an actual farm has to be. So you can see he's basically opened all the land. There's that director. And so, yeah, a lot of trees and machines. So basically, his machines never work, although his animals are not hungry. And this is his squirrel tree. So if I want to go to his fishing area, I can't go. I can't even check his boat. But we can go to his town. But before that, let's have a look at the profile picture. Oh my gosh, Greg has the world record for most liked farm. He has almost 18 million farm likes. Dude, Greg, what do you do? That's a lot of likes. Now, the main feature of the Greg for which he's known, so Greg sells you goodies. Every day at about 8 p.m. Eastern Time, Greg puts randomly things on a base price that you can purchase. So most of the time he sells crops, fruits, um, dairy products, a little bit of tools, and in, I think, in October 2019, a restock option was also added, which means that you can actually change the stuff that you don't need. So we can have a look here at the probabilities, um, a lot of chances of getting the fruits, then the least chance is getting, let me see, yeah, the tools are the least chance. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get the stuff that I need. So let's get this, 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 and I'm just going to restock because I don't like the car. And well, that's going to be like a very bad deal, just spending five times for one crate. But you know, what? let's just do this. Ooh, six beach. That's kind of cool. I'm not going to spend any more diamonds because I really don't have a lot at the moment. So I'm just going to get that. Thank you, Greg. So that's what Greg is now for. He sells items at his shop in the biggest price. So don't miss Greg. Make sure you visit him every day because most of the time what happens, I actually forget going on his farm. And I don't even remember like for weeks and even for months. That's crazy. Now, Greg's farm is very important in telling us about the upcoming things. So... Uh, whenever you want to add something new in the game, for example, the new value decorations are the new offers, they first put them on the Greg's farm so that we can have a sneak peek. So, for example, this um, beautiful element, elephant decoration, which we still haven't got in the game, Greg has it on his own farm, so we can come over here and have a look. And also, Greg has a lot of special events. Like during Halloween, Greg has a trick or treat event in which you can find pumpkins that can give you a lot of prizes. And same during Christmas time, you can also find a lot of gift boxes which can give you a lot of goodies and also special decorations on his farm. So this feature was added first in December 2018 and I think it's a very cool addition on his farm. Now, sometimes Greg can also buy stuff from your roadside shop. And why this happens, technically it happens when the stuff is 
on your shelf for a pretty long time. Let's say for more than one day and no one's purchasing that, Greg or Tom will come and they will get that stuff. So make sure whatever you're going to sell, just sell it to the person. Or Greg is a little thief. He's just going to come and grab all the stuff. Just kidding. I love Greg. No offense to Greg. Another feature of the Greg is that he can act as a lumberjack, so he gives you an offer in which he will cut your dead trees and bushes, and this unlocks from level 25. If you have more than 20 dead bushes or trees, he will come to your farm and give you an offer. For example, here you guys can see uh, he's saying, I'm an expert at cutting down dead trees and bushes of 40 diamonds, and this offer lasts for, I think, one one hour and he's just gonna cut 20 bushes for 40 diamonds now i personally don't like these offers and i never hire him because i think it's a waste of diamonds plus i already have a lot of saws and eggs so i definitely don't need him but if you really like greg and you want to do this you can it's totally your choice and look at his face he's like oh man he's cool he's holding an axe it's like he's gonna kill the vampires amazing all right, guys, now I'm on Greg's town. As you guys can see, his town is also very beautiful. It's specially decorated with the Christmas theme. And coming to the sanctuary, I hope he has opened... Oh, we cannot check his puzzle book. That was pretty good. Well, he has opened all the animals, and his town is fully maxed. I mean, fully extended, but his buildings are not fully maxed. If you guys have a look at the gift shop, it's pretty small as compared to mine. So that means that Greg doesn't play town. Or whatever. So, yeah, that was all about Greg, and I hope in the future he gets more features, like, maybe as he acts as a lumberjack, so maybe he can act as a trader, you know, in Clash of Clans, there's a trader that gives you different offers, um, just like Maggie, so that would be really cool to see. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys one more thing. Oh, man, Greg has also its own golden statue. Where is that? I don't even know where to find that. Uh, he unlocks at level 50. Um, when you reach level 50, you get that beautiful statue. It's a gold statue. I think it's very pretty. So if I come over here. Yep, yeah, there we go. How did I forget about this? Oh, man. Look at that. He has a shovel. He's acting like a superhero. So Greg, the superhero. There should be a total film on this. I would definitely watch that. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more handy videos coming. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.